love is love, right? Go out, show love, be love, be an example of love to somebody. That's really the core of where we are and what we're doing. Welcome back to another Local One Seattle video. I'm Kelly Hansen. I am really pumped for this video. We are celebrating Pride. Obviously, super sad the parade is not happening in person this year, but that does not mean we cannot still celebrate, okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm meeting a lot of different people that are gonna tell me about their experiences and stories. Side note, let it be known, I am socially distancing on this interview and all the interviews that I'm doing. Hi, I am Ruth Soto, also known as Latin Rose. And I work for Primera. For me, pride means family, peace, it means joy. Pride has been the center of my world since 2014 when I came out as bi. My aunts, uncles, they pushed me away in a pretty harsh way, and the LGBTQ community picked me up from where I was and loved me and embraced me and so pride is everything. I was definitely in the shadows for a really long time because I was afraid to come out. But be your true authentic self and do what makes you happy. I am the last pride idol of Seattle. Uh, 2014, and that's where I met my really good friend Jack. You know, the, the whole Pride uh, Pride Parade thing was originally a protest, a riot, but uh, started by Marsha P. Johnson, you know, a black trans woman. So I think it's really important that we recognize where we where our rights came from and that we support each other. I think this movement has been needing to happen for a while. Uh, and I'm glad the LGBT community is standing uh, as an ally and is supporting it. It is very scary to be in the closet and it's a very, very lonely feeling. And if you just came out or you're thinking of coming out, I encourage you to reach out to our local nonprofits. I'm Steven Sawyer, I'm the executive director of POCAN and the co-founder of Northwest Black Pride. So Northwest Black Pride is this fabulous celebration of all things queer and all things African American. It's a three day event where we do, not only do we do the fun stuff like the parties, so we do workshops, we do HIV testing, you know, we talk about issues that are current to community like HIV and the black church. And so it's informative, also meant to kind of build up and to help build an infrastructure for the African American queer community here. You can also address anti-blackness. I think oftentimes here in Seattle, we don't really, we think of racism and anti-blackness as two and the same, but it's really a little different. Oftentimes I tell people when you think about anti-blackness, think about the fact of me not seeing color, because you'll oftentimes people say that, well I was raised not to see color. But when you don't see color, that can be just as problematic as the systematic racism that we face, right? Because there are challenges, there are issues that we face that are very unique uh, to living this black experience that need to be addressed and need to be addressed in unique ways. And so that's what pride is about for us. And and, you know, live your best and most fabulous life. I'm Fred Swanson. I'm the executive director at Gay City, Seattle's LGBTQ Center. We have a every other week group community conversation online where we talk about uh, resources and people to connect to the things that they need. We also, on Sundays, organize an online Instagram. It's called Quarantine, an IG Live event for young people to feel support and feel connections. I think that's particularly important right now. You can also call Gay City, the 323-LGBT uh, in the 206 area code. That's our resource referral line, and so if anyone needs support or uh, is looking for a way to connect, that's something that we can help you with. And you can make an appointment to, uh, for, to get an HIV test or STI screening. We're still doing that three times a week. Also, we are still running our PrEP clinic, so if somebody is interested in accessing PrEP, um, we can help them with that as well. We are, first of all, the oldest, the first and oldest mental health agency in the country that's mission-driven to serve the LGBTQ community. We serve both uh, mental health and substance abuse services, as well as a pretty big harm reduction program. So. Our focus is on ensuring that the behavioral health and wellness of our community members is the best it can be. When I started working at SCS, I, I came to work there because I love my community 
and I wanted to support it in whatever way I could. And um, I really felt strongly that the work of behavioral health is, is um, sacred work, actually, that we save lives, we witness change in people's lives. And, you know, coming from an Irish Catholic family, it took a lot of courage for me to come to terms with my own sexuality and then come out to my various family members. And I'm of a generation where that's still, I think that's, I know that it still is scary for folks. Um, but for me, it took me a few years to feel pride about my identity, only because of the culture that we live in and the expectation or the assumption of heterosexuality. But I found my people and um, I really embraced my identity as a lesbian and I have been very, very proud. Pride for me every year is an, an opportunity to just really demonstrate how fabulous we are as a community, how, how much resilience and beauty and strength and love there is within our community. So much for watching this video and happy pride you do not have to just celebrate for one month too you can celebrate all year long with these really cool backgrounds thanks to Primera to spice up your zoom life and you know I'm gonna have so much information in the description so be sure to check that out on a bunch of virtual events coming soon so until next time subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you later bye